coming at you with the sick voice to bring you pen time. Oto needlepoint pen time. Oh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oto Horizon Needlepoint Horizon. I forgot. Yeah, it, Oto Horizon Needlepoint. I'm using the 0.7 millimeter size. I think there's either a size up or a size down. I believe there's a 0.5 millimeter size as well. But I wanted to do a pen time on this one because I really love this ballpoint pen. And someone actually mentioned it on one of the videos before. I couldn't remember which one um, that I should try this one out. And I actually have this pen and have had it for a while. And uh, for like a fine line ballpoint, it is one of the best, if not the best that I have ever used. Um, and this is not a gel ink pen. This is a straight up ballpoint. It's great. Uh, the line work is is just, it's, it's so nice and smooth with this pen. And um, I'm using this cartridge. It's about empty and I've been using it for a good while. Uh, they have replacement cartridges. They were kind of small and I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they would last very long, but uh, this one cartridge has lasted a very long while. I've done several large drawings with it, worked a bunch in the sketchbook with it. Uh, and as you can see, it's still going strong. The video I made after this one, it actually ended up running out, uh, which I was just amazed because it's, it seemed like it had been on its last tiny little bit of ink for probably, probably about a month, if not more. But in this drawing, I decided to draw my partner's OC Mac because they are awesome and, uh, a, a very fun character to draw. And for showing off something like, you know, this ballpoint, I wanted to do something that I would enjoy, you know, that I could show off a little bit of detail and do a lot of like, uh, text texturing with and you know all that good stuff but there's a lot of good ball points out there you saw a few at the beginning of the video that I use uh, the Pentel RSVP is one that I've used the regular Bic Crystal ballpoint is one that I use um, I like the Bic Crystal in tandem with this pen to kind of thicken up the line work and get some more like uh, darker outlines on some of the shapes it's really nice but uh, one of the thing I really like ballpoint for is its ability to uh, to work well with water-based media whether whether it be watercolor or ink wash so this is kind of like a, a dual ink wash pen time ink time wa wash time pen time uh, so you get to see you know the versatility of a ballpoint pen because this is one of those tools that I think everybody like really likes to draw with, you know, whether it just be doodling in a notebook or, you know, on a, a sticky note or, you know, actually drawing like something, something really finished with it. But, you know, a lot of people overlook it as, you know, just like a doodling tool, but it, it, it handles, handles wet media really well. It doesn't run, you know, it's fairly permanent. I don't know what it is about that, like thick ink that makes it so uh, waterproof when, when, when working like this, but it's really, it's really fantastic. And, you know, with the, with a nice toned ink wash, you can get some really cool textures and effects. And uh, especially with this character, because there's, you know, dark clothes and like skin and you can really pull out the differences in those just by using different amounts of tone. Um, I really like finding drawing tools that work well with the different mediums that I use for coloring and things like that and touching up, you know, and that's a big part of finding what you like is finding the drawing tool that works well with what you already like. So, you know, I, I found these, this, this ballpoint to be really, really good for what I like to do. And it works really well with my style. Um, the construction is really solid. It's aluminum pretty much all the way throughout the tip and like the, uh, the clicking mechanism are all really solid, heavy, have a nice weight to them. Uh, the clicking mechanism is a push in and a button to release and it has a really solid spring and it has a really nice thwack to it when you unlock it. And that's something that I look for in a pen because most American ballpoint pens are really cheap and plasticky. It's really hard to find a quality uh, like metal barreled ballpoint pen that's going to perform the way you want. So if that's what you're looking for, if you want something a little bit nicer, try out the Oto Horizon needle point or size you want because it's just a great freaking pen, man. So go go get one if you like it and and thanks for watching <laughs> thanks